So having identified that, uh, that cat on that uh, camera, it's uh, probably worthwhile trekking back to uh, the location and uh, identifying where it's actually uh, uh, walked in front of that particular camera and see uh, mm. where it heads off to. So it was this camera, I know where that one was, I know the trail where it was heading off to, so we'll go have a look. Absolutely, let's go. In a previous episode of TRU, the boys got a hot tip on a potential thylacine sound in a documentary from the late 1990s. They downloaded this sound, they cleaned it up with some sound editing software and designed an experiment to see whether it could be used as an attractant. They took this experiment out in the field, left it there for a night and then analysed the results. In those results, they found that a feral cat had walked through their camera traps and now they're trying to track it down. Wish them luck. There's fresh wombat droppings here. And there's a bit of scratching here. This is fresh. This is real soon. And it didn't go over there, so the wombat may have been they have come to here, passed about, heard a noise, and didn't go any further. Yep. Been warned off by the... Uh, so the sound may have, you know, may have frightened it off. Yep. Looks like it's um, fairly fresh uh, wombat scat as well. You can see some of the, uh, the grasses and things that it's been eating. So that certainly wasn't here when we set up uh, uh, yesterday afternoon, so that's uh, happened um, sometime uh, recently, but uh, just off camera by the looks of it, it would have been at the extreme right uh, of the camera's field of vision. So we've got um, a, a fresh sort of scratching or impression in here, so there's a few sort of roots and stuff around here that look like have been just sort of dug around and there's another one just over here so that uh, fits with the picture of a of a wombat uh, coming up in this sort of direction and sort of looking for something to eat some uh, fresh scat unfortunately it looks as if it's uh, to the right extremity of the 120 degrees that our camera would have taken and the last camera uh, side is probably about uh, 20 meters away um, so as Bill was suggesting that there is every possibility that it could have been walking up this game trail heard one of our sounds, a sound from uh, uh, a potential uh, uh, predator and uh, decided to head, uh, head out of town quick. We've got uh, some fairly sort of significant sort of uh, diggings from a wombat here, plenty of uh, um, quite sort of fresh uh, scat so it looks like uh, the wombat spent uh, a fair amount of time in this space um, and headed up uh, uh, the game trail. Um, also a little bit of uh, uh, wallaby scat around as well, so uh, obviously a bit of uh, activity in this space last night. Well, we have followed this track down where that cat was heading. We just stuck to the track and it's opened up into another section and this is where we set up another camera and we've got a tabby cat coming the other way so we've got two feral cats now since devil facial tumor disease devil numbers are low it means that other predators have built up in number and we could be just seeing a rise in the number of feral cats and it's a big concern so the other interesting thing about this area is that other than the fact that this is where uh, or very close to where the, the previous mud print was, it is, is classic thylacine type area in terms of we've got an open area surrounded by uh, more densely wooded areas. So you'd have your herbivores, your prey species out in here potentially grazing. Um, we've got uh, wombats uh, um, and possums that have been uh, caught on our videos. So it is potential thylacine habitat. So we've just moved further down on, on the track uh, following um, where the potential area where that cat has gone back towards where our, uh, our mud uh, uh, footprint was taken uh, um, earlier. So, and we can see that we've got some um, 
potential uh, devil scat here and relatively fresh scat as well. Oh, I'm just actually looking at this to see whether it's a potential sort of uh, uh, footprint, something sort of cut into the side of that. A bit hard to tell, but um, interesting and it sort of sticks out. There's another mark here, another one here. What we've got here, I think it's possibly something's digging it out. It's probably just doing that, I think. It hasn't got the claw marks of the wombat. Be something smaller. Could even be a devil digging at it. But I can't see actually any real claw marks there, so well, there's wombats. Oh, you can see a little bit of claw here and here. A smaller animal, could be a bandicoot or something like that. It's uh, unusual. But, uh, but it's been disturbed a lot here. After inspecting this uh, this fence line with the possibility of following a game trail, and there's a game trail that comes through here, um, I can see that there's some barbs uh, just here, and uh, you can see at the end of the pointer that it's actually caught some hair, and there's a few other sort of locations uh, just uh, further up where I can also see where there's a game trail and some hair that's been caught um, on the barbs. We've got, uh, I guess, two samples uh, along here, one a little bit further at on. This one tend, looks a little bit more greyer than the other one. The other one looks, uh, but there's also potentially more than one animal uh, here as well, because there are some, right in the centre here, there looks like there's some, some lighter colour, almost uh, sort of tanny colour hairs, whilst the ones, the bigger clump seems to be a grey sort of uh, uh, colour so um, but the interesting thing is is just how high um, mm. this uh, part of the fence is in comparison so normally you'd think with a, a macropod in terms of a, um, a wallaby that uh, it would uh, probably easily sort of uh, uh, get itself underneath that um, whilst uh, something that doesn't um, uh, stoop maybe a large dog for example uh, might uh, catch itself on that. Just walking along this, this fence line, we're about 10 metres further down from where we observed the, uh, the hair, and we can sort of see here, I'll just push the fence down here, um, that there's a relatively new break, and there's a, a fencing staple um, and some bark firmly attached to the, uh, the fence here in the wire. So what appears to have happened is something relatively large has come through the fence. It's got stuck on the fence in a barb, um, and as it's sort of cleared itself, it's uh, then pushed the fence forward, which meant this spark uh, has come out. So that would again su suggest quite a, a reasonable size animal has, uh, has tried to crawl underneath that fence. Hey Bill, yeah. come and have a look at this. Uh, what have we got? So Bill, what we've got here is we've got uh, evidence of a game trail and then uh, what looks to be fur or hair caught on one of the barbs and you can see that it's uh, reasonably high up so probably about 600 mil off the ground um, and a bit further up we've got uh, a larger clump okay. um, to me that looks like a Bennett's wallaby uh, it's just the sort of fur that Bennett's wallabies have having hand raised a few mm -hmm. of them um, very much looks like the hair on the back of their neck yep. So we've got another another clump a little bit further up. Okay. That's a bit higher again. But you can see this one here is probably about 750 mil above the ground. Yeah. Um, this this hair seems to be darker um, than the other hair. Yeah, but have a look. See those little like blonde flecks. Yep. So I'll pull it out. You see see that sort of pattern there. Yep. Okay, and uh, they're also called the redneck wallaby. And you see it's just a little bit gingery looking. Mm -hmm. Some little blonde tips on it. Uh, I'd say again that's been its wallaby. It's probably come to this point, probably got its head up. That's probably the probably the nape of its uh, neck or the back of its head. Mm -hmm. It's going, oh that's not nice and it's probably struggled and yep. moved on. But to me that looks very much like Bennett's wallaby or red necked wallaby. Same species. 
Nice. Yeah.